Hey everyone, in this lesson we will be covering equivalent inequalities. Equivalent inequalities are essentially inequalities that have the same range of solutions. That means that when we solve and simplify these inequalities, they will be equivalent. Let's go through some examples. Example number one. Say we have the two inequalities, 2x is greater than 3 plus x, and 2x is greater than 6. I'm going to rewrite these inequalities here um, so we can solve them. I'm going to write the first one in purple. 2x is greater than 3 plus x. And I'm going to write the second one in green. 2x is greater than 6. So let's simplify the purple inequality first. We want to first subtract x from both sides, and we're left with x is greater than 3. And that is our range of solutions for this first purple inequality. Next, we're going to solve this inequality for x, the green inequality. We're going to divide both sides by 2, and we're left with x is greater than 3. Here, and that is our range of solutions for the second green inequality. We can see that the range of solutions for both the purple inequality and the green inequality are the same. So we can say that both of these inequalities are equivalent. Equivalent. Incredible. So this is one type of uh, example question that you can see when you're trying to figure out whether inequalities are equivalent. But there's one other type that you may see, and this one is a tad bit more complicated. Here's example problem number two. Which of the following inequalities are equal to 2x plus 4 is greater than 12? This one is a little trickier, but we're going to follow pretty much the same method as we did for equality number one, or example number one, I'm sorry. We are going to solve for the range of solutions for each of these inequalities. And the, the inequalities that have the same range of solutions are all going to be equivalent. So we are first going to solve for the range of solutions for this main inequality here. 2x plus 4 is greater than 12. I'm going to do that in green. So first I'm going to rewrite this inequality. 2x plus 4 is greater than 12. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. 2x is greater than 8. I'm going to divide by 2. x is greater than 4. So that is the range of solutions for this main inequality here. I'm going to write that up here. x is greater than 4. So we are looking for the inequalities that have the same range of solutions of x is greater than 4. And to do that, we actually have to solve these inequalities. So I'm going to do this first one here in blue. I'm going to rewrite it down here so we have a little bit more space. Negative 2x plus 5 is less than negative 3. Take a second to try and solve this one on your own. The first thing we're going to do is subtract both sides by 5. And we're left with negative 2x is less than negative 8. We're going to divide both sides by negative 2. We're left with x is greater than 4. Remember, when we're dividing or multiplying by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. So here we're left with x is greater than 4 as the range of solutions to this first inequality. So I'm going to write that up here. Let's do the next one. We're going to do the next one in yellow. And again, I'm going to rewrite it down here so we have more space to solve it. x plus 3 is greater than 7. Take a second to do this one on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, and we're left with x is greater than 4. And that is the range of solutions for the second yellow inequality. And again, I'm going to write that up here. x is greater than 4. Perfect. Let's do this third inequality in pink. 
And I'm going to scroll a little bit so we have more space. 3x plus 9 is less than negative 4. Again, I just rewrote this so we have more space. So take a second to try and solve this one on your own. So we're going to subtract 9 from both sides first. And we're left with 3x is less than negative 13. We're going to divide both sides by 3. And we're left with x is less than negative 13 over 3. You could simplify this into a decimal, but I'm going to leave it as is. And so I'm going to write the solution up here. x is less than negative 13 over 3. And now let's do this last one. I'll do it in purple. Actually, let's not do it in purple. Let's do it in, ooh, let's do an orange. Okay, great. So I'm going to rewrite it again. 7 over 4 is less than 7x. We're going to divide both sides by 7, which is the same thing as multiplying both sides by 1 over 7. The 7 and 7 cancel. The 7 and 7 cancel. So we're left with 1 over 4 is less than x. Just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to flip this and say that x is greater than 1 over 4. And we can do that. And so I'm going to rewrite this here. x is greater than 1 over 4. Perfect. So what we've done here, oh, I'm going to box this answer in. Oh, I forgot to box this answer in. All right. So what we've done here is we have found the range of solutions for each of these inequalities. Um, and we are looking for the range of solutions that are the same as our main inequality. So we can see that it is this first one with the range of solutions of x is greater than 4 and this second one with the range of solutions of x is greater than 4. So as you can see, we generally need to manipulate inequality slightly in order to demonstrate their equality. If you're trying to figure out whether two equalities are equivalent, it is easiest to simplify both inequalities as much as you can, which is what we did here, and see whether their range of solutions is the same.